Carbs, Sweet. boom, processed carbs, processed soy, boom, boom, healthy nutrition, boom! <laughs> Alright guys, welcome back to the channel. If you're new, my name is Bobby. Guys, today we're gonna react to Paul from Hench Herbivore. I've been in the fitness industry and into bodybuilding for the past 16 years. Today I'm gonna give you a detailed breakdown of what Paul may or may not use. Let's do it. Joy! Hi, he's vegan. So much screaming for 100 kilos. 100 kilos is not much weight, man. Joy! Hi, he's vegan nutritionist and There is no such thing as a vegan nutritionist. Sure, you can become a nutritionist. However, a vegan nutritionist is not a profession. You learn about nutrition in those classes, in your case, probably an online degree. And then after that, you infuse it with your bias, which is veganism. There is no such thing as a vegan nutritionist. Personal trainer Paul from Hench Herbivore, and this is what I eat in a day uh. to grow vegan muscle. <laughs> No, that is not what you eat to grow vegan muscle. Despite what you eat, you're growing or maintaining some muscle because of steroid use. <laughs> that is always the same Kelly muscle impersonation. Really lame. And now we have to torture ourselves with that music. <laughs> ah! Hmm, a carnivorous okay, animal. Okay. Be quiet. Vegans always like to keep cats around. Why is that so? Why do you keep carnivorous pets? Just to malnourish them? Well, hi, you join me at breakfast. Hi. I always have porridge or a smoothie. I want something mm. savory for a change. There are no savory plants, right? You have to spice them, salt them up to turn them into something savory. If you say savory, what you really want is meat. I have a couple of different things. First of all, uh, curried chickpeas, curried roasted chickpeas. Here's the feathers for you. So, Paul already admitted that he has severe via digestive issues. He already contacted his friend Berry Boy for help. And now he chooses to eat chickpeas. How does that make any sense? Everybody knows that this will further trigger your gut lining. One and a half cans of chickpeas, but one and a half tablespoons of date syrup. Chickpeas have been eaten in Indian populations. That is correct. Many, many Indians are vegetarians. However, nobody would ever eat so many chickpeas. Those ancient vegetarians understand that those foods trigger your gut. Hence, they're using just a little bit of it. If you're eating a chickpea dal, for example, right? Just a couple of chickpeas thrown in. Nowadays, we have this delusional population of people that think they can become vegan bodybuilders. And then they go eat protein containing foods just because chronometer said so then by default you see them eating tons and tons of legumes that will destroy your gut simple but one and a half tablespoons of date syrup always some sort of sugar on top of the carbohydrate containing food one and a half tablespoons of water we've got three teaspoons of curry powder one teaspoon of a thousand spices because it doesn't taste good in powder one teaspoon of garlic powder and salt to taste this is from our forthcoming cookbook don't forget to buy it <laughs> what's up with all those faces i don't understand <laughs> First you put anything that's not chickpeas into a mixing bowl. Give it a little mix up. Now you do put in the chickpeas. Give them a little mix a -roo. Now you pop these on some parchment paper on a baking tray. Spread them out, obvs. So the oven's preheated to 190 Celsius. Pop these bad boys in. And they're gonna cook for 35 minutes, but you wanna turn them every eight minutes or so, just agitate them a little bit so they don't stick. So also, I'm gonna try this smoky jackfruit. I guess it's like a pool. All right, smoky jackfruit, right? Yet again, another meat replacement. Why do you still use meat replacements? If we believe vegans, those foods are transition foods, right? In the beginning, you're still used to the taste of meat. Emotional eating, your parents, it's their fault, right? But now, you've been vegan for six years, I believe, and you're still eating meat replacement. Why is that so? Could it have to do anything with meat cravings? No, of course not. You are craving seasoned jackfruit. I see. Pork type deal. Not tried this brand before, so I'm gonna give that a well bond stand. Ridiculous. Not exactly whole foods, but I just fancy the change. No, you fancy the meat taste. Yep. Ah, and there it is. Herniated belly button. This man destroyed his body. Please do a surgery. What happens is the intestines in the stomach grow. And as the intestines grow, 
the stomach runs out of room. There's no more room for the intestines. So the weakest link is the belly button. So the intestines will bust through the belly button because they're growing too big to fit in the stomach wall. And as you can look at just about every professional bodybuilder out there, you know, eventually we all get herniated belly buttons. And this is caused from the growth hormone, the intestines growing. Yeah, that does look like a don't say <laughs> Yeah, she's right, it does look like shit. Funny stuff. Look at this bloated belly. Bloated, broken belly button, absolute destruction. Total human suffering. And now you're gonna eat that amount of chickpeas. What are you doing to yourself, Paul? Why? Mm. Poor cat. Hi. Hi. All right, let's talk about his body. Aside from the slight gynecomastia that he has there, you can see it around his nipples. He is developing something that you call bitch tits. That is due to exogenous testosterone. If the exogenous testosterone is too high in your body, your body wants to balance it out again, and then it will produce estrogen. With estrogen, you will start to grow female breast tissue, hence the term bitch tits. That's what we see here. But on top of that, I just want to point out that you see a much, much calmer Paul now. He just completed his so-called vegan cutting phase. And in that phase, I'm going to assume that he used trenbolone and clenbuterol mixed with testosterone propionate. So you can see that because his fullness is gone. The plasticity is gone as well. The fake tan is gone too. Maybe he used some MT2, some melanotin for the tan before that. Now you see him kind of flat looking. He's probably still on a TRT dose, a testosterone replacement dose. It is highly likely that he shot his own production of testosterone. The reason why I point out that he probably used clenbuterol is because you saw in previous videos how he was shaking like this. Clenbuterol and trembolone stimulate the nervous system tremendously and because that is so you will see people shaking whilst on it. Of course they combine it with high amounts of caffeine as well to get through the workouts while being in a caloric deficit. So it's quite interesting to see that he went off the designer steroids and he looks much less muscular. But now he's going to tell us that he makes all of those gains with chickpeas and bread. Absolutely ridiculous. Hey, I've got these rolls. These are whole grain chia batter. They've got flax seeds in there. So uh, yeah, that's my omega threes. Normally I have that with my porridge. No, you're not going to extract anything from that. The flax seed will disrupt your hormone balance. Phytoestrogen is the keyword here. Sure, maybe so. Make sure I've got that involved. Uh, so I'm going to get some of this pulled jackfruit as a sort of like a sort of lubricating medium. I couldn't think of a better way to. No, it's not a lubricating medium. It's just something that tastes a little bit like meat. That is what you want. You're breaking down your muscle in the gym. You want to rebuild it. There is no better way than meat. Put that. Uh, we're going to have some of these. Roasted chickpeas. So sad. Saturday bits. This is something that a very, very poor person somewhere in India would have to eat probably. Right? Somebody from the slums. Just some chickpeas, just some bread, couple of vegetables. This is what you eat if you don't have any money. So people nowadays that are privileged bring themselves into a starvation diet and they are suffering on purpose. Absolutely unbelievable. Be quiet, young catamaran. Oh, be quiet. Some of this on the top is <laughs> Probably starving, the poor cat. <laughs> tab it nicely lubricated to it. It goes down well. How is that healthy? How will you make gains out of this? Honestly, it's neither healthy nor will you make gains. There is no quality protein in this dish. It is mainly carbohydrates. Do not tell people that you make gains from chickpea bread. Mmm. Mmm, delicious. How disingenuous. That's really lovely. Yeah, and there we have the nipple parade. Cute. I wouldn't want that um, Paul Jackfruit all the time because it's got a little bit of coconut sugar in there. <laughs> now he's worried about the coconut sugar. Man, you just poured date syrup over all of your food. On top of that, it is carbohydrates. Every plant food contains sugars. But now that little bit of sugar on top is the issue. Sure, vegan logic. I don't really want to be eating sugars, but... <laughs> you don't want to eat sugars, but that's what you do on a plant-based diet by default. What are you talking about? Smoky, delicious, mm. lovely change. I don't want you guys to keep having to see the same old smoothies and orange, you know? 
Mm. Mm. I would add this again. This is really good. It's just fake food for fake people. That's what it is. <laughs> Look at the poor cat going yeah. insane. It wants to eat birds. This is real animal abuse, man. Feeding your cat a vegan diet so it goes insane. <laughs> yeah. Shark. It's shark, isn't it? Um, also, I'm going to eat this forest feast dried mangoes delicious from Tesco. Real nice. Yeah, more sugar. Dried mangoes. What is in dried mangoes? A little bit of vitamin C and sugars. But you're afraid of sugars. This is a beautiful display of how little vegans know about nutrition. I see the baking. Uh, goods aisle. Anyway, I'm going to get this locked down my neck. I'll get online, write up some nutrition and workout plans for my online clients. Here's my email if you want to get involved in any of that. Why would anybody get coached by you? Why? You have absolutely no idea about nutrition. But I'll see you guys at lunch. Hi guys, before the lunch segment, just to let you know, 26th and 27th of October, Saturday and Sunday, is VegFest London. Wow, Myself maybe and the I should whole go. Vivo Life crew are going to be there. Fantastic. We're going to be doing panel discussions, etc. Hanging out, All the just celebrities. generally poncing around, taking photos and pretending to be famous for five minutes. So mm. do come say hi. I love uh, to meet all you awesome guys. Anyway. So humble, right? Come on, Hench. You believe you are famous. On with lunch. <laughs> with Steve. Please, for the love of God, put a shirt on. Fried vegetables, let me introduce you to the bow. Red fellas. Tempeh, of course. Of course. Gonna have some nice ramen noodles there, brown rice ones, bit of soy sauce. So now he's not only impersonating Kelly Muscle, now he's gonna start to eat like Kelly Muscle with the ramen. Interesting. Range of vegetables that Gemma's chindly, chindly copped. Oh my God, words me. Good. <laughs> my dreams, red onion. Yellow pepper, carrots. There's nothing in that bowl that you need for survival or for thriving, for that matter. There is no nutrition in that bowl. Celery, red pepper, all the good stuff. It's garlic oh. as well. I like this organic tempeh. Why do you need the garlic? Impulse. They don't get it. Tempeh is fermented soybeans. It is a better choice than regular soybeans. I will give you that. But aside from that, it is just phytoestrogen hormonal disruption in a package. That's all. And here on the left side, we see again his bloated belly. Hmm, why is it so bloated? Does that look like a healthy belly? Be good if we didn't have to have so much plastic, but there you go. Cut it into little. Not um, so much plastic. <laughs> a vegan that is complaining about plastic. <laughs> strips. Uh, that's fantastic. I love it. If you've not met it before, it's just soybeans um, with uh, mycelium, like the root of mushrooms, uh, holding it together. It's um, fermented, so it's very healthy. So we get those healthy. bad boys in the bubble. A bit of soy just to flavour them up. More so soy, more gluten. For three minutes. Just to soak up all the flavour. I'm gonna stick these bad boys. What's up with that editing? Boys in the air fryer. Takes about uh, 10, 15 minutes. Again, tempeh has been eaten in Indonesia. I spent quite some time in Indonesia and people would eat it if they don't have enough money for meat. That's all. You can do it in a normal oven, but it just takes longer. Here we go. 15 minutes. It's on 180. Well there, cooking we'll steam fry the vegetables. So a little more in a wok, then they all go. You are already bloated. You already have digestive issues. Why would you eat those vegetables now? Please explain that and I leave you alone forever. Oh, the Add jelly a little butter. water in as you need to, not too much. And at this point we'll also add in the garlic as well. Keep yeah. it moving. Keep it moving along, keep it moving. Halfway. Again, Kelly Muscle impersonation. And a very lame one at that. Give this a little agitate. Veggies have nearly cooked. It's just occurred to me we've not got much in the way of leafy greens going on today. So I'll put some spinach in. More oxalates on top. For what do you need them? Because it's such a delicate leaf, it can really go in last minute. So, you know, if it is a bit of an afterthought, no harm done. Three minutes to go so we can get the noodles uh, off to the start. Well, everything's finished. Processed carbohydrates. Up, I'm just making dessert, which is a fruit salad, so I've got... 
you already know that you're going to be hungry afterwards so therefore you need more sugar you're going to get a super sugar low after that meal obviously you just ate three bags of ramen noodle soup and then to recover from that you're going to eat some fruit ridiculous figs bananas apple and i've got the dual dates which i've chopped up small more sugar one pack of these with dual dates 2100 calories just for these little old things when yeah. you want a bulk it's a great way to get your calories in the noodles are ready. The noodles are ready. <laughs> <laughs> Before I was rudely interrupted by Gemma's phone, I was gonna tell her I'm gonna chop up this donut peach as well. These are really sweet. Where do these come from, Lidl? Oh, yeah. Jesus. Really nice they are. Yeah, fantastic. Boom. Are those figs? Paul, you know that figs are not vegan. So everything's cooked, noodles in, boom, got this lovely sauce, not tried it before, <laughs> I'm calling it lovely, I've not even tried it, teriyaki. Very yeah, teriyaki, was. you see it always with vegans using barbecue sauce, teriyaki sauce, sauce that you would put on meat, always the same. So not too bad, boom, give it a little mix up. Cops. Oh, that does smell good. Uh, <laughs> boom. Boom. With the boom. Carbs. Sweet. Boom. Processed carbs. Processed soy. Boom. Boom. Healthy nutrition. Boom. Just in the tempeh. Yeah. How much will you absorb though? That is the question. You, because you are using exogenous hormones, you will absorb a little bit more. And that is fine, Paul. Congratulations. You can cope with your deficient diet a little bit longer than most people. Congratulations. Because you are using exogenous testosterone, your protein sensitivity is heightened. Your protein synthesis is heightened as well. Therefore, you can absorb some of that mediocre plant protein. Normal people, natural people cannot do that. You should be ashamed to recommend that mediocre malnourishing diet to your clients. Just decided to finish with a few microgreens. <laughs> <laughs> I think I've eaten them enough. <laughs> Lame. That's right, not food. Look at it. It's all burned. It's all super overcooked just to extract a little bit of nutrition out of it. This is not food. None of this shit is appealing to you in its natural, unprocessed state. You have to process it. You have to overcook it until almost nothing is left in those plants but you broke down the fiber a little bit and therefore you can absorb some that is all the little whirl <clears throat> look at the size of this ball get a bit of all the things again this screams digestive mm. upset that makes a delicious change yeah great tempeh is really good in the air fryer as i say you can do it in the oven it just takes a little while it's a bit better you want to fryer. eat meat paul something more sort of crispy give in bro Give in. That sauce is a welcome change. It's delicious. Mm. Oh, God, die! This is delightful. Okay. Two what the fuck? hours later. Oh, no! He needs to hype himself up for what is this? 110 kilograms. He's hyping himself up as if he would go for a bench press world record. That's just 110 kilograms, man. That's nothing. Drink, drink one hit. Do you think this is impressive? Uh, very impressive. Wow. Amazing. Just back from the gym, first things first, get the old protein in. I'm a big fan of Vivo Life's... So, now we come to the truth, right? This is how vegan bodybuilders maintain some muscle. It is all due to isolated protein powders. You, as a human being, are not set up to ferment plant foods. No, you're not a herbivore, Paul. Hence, herbivore is a contradiction that does not make any sense. You are a man that lives on synthetic supplements and synthetic hormones. 
please be honest to your viewers. The only reason why you have some muscle left is, as I said, because of the steroids and because of isolated protein powders. Here you have a protein supplement, which in your case is a protein replacement, of course, because you're not getting any protein out of your nutrition. So therefore, you isolate the protein through a chemical process. Those things are filled with heavy metals, of course. But who cares, right? As long as we can absorb it a little bit better. Pea protein is, of course, absolutely mediocre protein however because we remove the fiber we can absorb some form best tasting best performing certainly protein i've ever used sure, sure. ever used oh, just use way and it's working already no gains it's the wonder cat yeah the Still wonder cat let me introduce you to the fellas oh i need to say while i'm cooking <laughs> We're doing another recipe from our forthcoming cookbook. It's quite interesting to observe that no matter how old the vegans are, no matter if they're in their 20s, 30s, 40s or 50s, they will behave like little children. It's always the same. Quinoa, corn and edamame salad. 70 grams dry weight of quinoa, which has been cooked. We've got 100 grams of corn, 100 grams of edamame. Oh We've got God. a handful of salad leaves. Got a few chopped cherry tomatoes, uh, half a red onion, which has been minced up. Two so now you're gonna tell me you're making gains from edamame beans and corn. Tablespoons of chopped <laughs> coriander, uh, avocado, yes. half a lime, half a teaspoon of cumin or cumin as silly people call it, and we've got salt and pepper to taste. Okay, so we get a big bowl. We'll put in the What's quinoa. up with the music? Give that a little, break it up a little bit. Corn goes in, uh, a little bit on the floor as is uh, tradition, edamame. So vegan, right? To import the quinoa and absolutely destroy farmers in South America. Super compassionate, super vegan. Burn the fossil fuels on top of our head. Destroy the environment, exploit the people, right? Package it in plastic. I'm a vegan bodybuilder. <laughs> it is. Now you get your other things. Yeah, You're gonna put these other things in a separate Ah, oh, put a shirt on, man. Give that avo a bit ah, of a Ah, that navel. These ones. What is that? So this is going to act as kind of a dressing. Uh, uh, what is that? Oh, hi. I see you've noticed my ethics camo tracks. They're back in stock now. They're out of stock. You have no ethics whatsoever. You're exploiting people. You absolutely backstabbed Tim Sheaf and now you're exploiting your gullible followers. Because they sell out so quick. Link in this you're a in the description. Be quick. Anyway, I've got a veritable feast for dinner, as you can see. So I've got these feed free. Feast. These are gluten-free wraps. These have got sweet potato in, so they're very high in vitamin E. You must have consumed around about 600 carbs already. Boom. So that's going to be the main sort of course here. I'm going to spread a little tahini on here mm. just to help lubricate Just to replicate animal again, fats. Everything go yeah. down. Sesame seed paste it is, so it's got some good essential fats Right, in that there. makes perfect sense. I'll put on when did anybody come up with the idea that seeds would be healthy for you? On that note, you have to understand that all that you're eating is seeds, right? You can call it grains, you can call it legumes, if you will. However, all of those foods are seeds, nothing more and nothing less. If you take a bean, you can sprout it. That means it is a seed. If you take a rice corn, you can sprout it as well. It means it is a seed. The same applies to the grains you are simply eating seeds. Now think about it. Do you really believe that Mother Nature wants you to eat her seeds? You're basically gulping down on plant sperm. Do you really think that that is a good idea? Wouldn't you agree that all the plants want to live and they want to procreate, so to speak, right? They want to pollinate the land. So therefore, if you would eat their seeds, you would destroy that process. Plants want to live and therefore they infuse their seeds with anti-nutrients. You, on the other hand, think it is a good idea to ground it up and eat it in a tortilla wrap. Very smart. Some of this uh, lovely salad. Mm. Where's oh the protein God, now? Oh God, I've done that bad. That's Where's the protein? Everyone's How do you make the you. gains? <laughs> <laughs> so give this a little wrap up. He's still a bit shaky. All my own work. Probably his nervous system is still taxed, but you can clearly see that he is slightly recovering from the clenbuterol damage. Mm. Oh, 
yeah. Oh yeah, you enjoy it, right? <laughs> yeah, that looks like the a man that truly enjoys it. This mm. is lovely. Mm. Yeah, mm, amazing. You are not fooling anybody, bro. Definitely, definitely. I'm not just saying this. Do you buy our cookbook when it comes out in about four to six weeks or so. I'm not just saying this. Yeah, you just said it, right? I'm not mm. gonna buy it. Why would? That's delicious. So I've also got these uh, you fit crunches. Uh, Ten more grams carbs. of protein. Yeah, they're sure. They're crisps, but they've mm. got virtually no uh, fat. Well, not a lot of fat, anyway. All you eat is processed junk. All of it, man. Two point five grams of fat per bag. They're baked, not fried. Mm -hmm. Thai sweet chili. Anyway, so they're rather delicious. You understand that there is no such thing as vegan bodybuilding, do you? If you are consuming plants, you by default already kill more animals than somebody on a carnivorous diet. That is a fact that you cannot rebuttal. It is what it is. But now on top of that, you, out of vanity, want to fuel your body with more plants. That means you destroy more habitats. That means you kill more animals. You are by default not a vegan bodybuilder plant-based at best. Just had a bit of a crunch. I wouldn't eat too many. Again, they are processed, but yeah, but what because. are you going to do? Mm. Uh, oh, what are you going to do? I... Yeah, maybe eat whole foods. How about that? What are you going to do? Afterwards. I don't know. I've got the other half of those medjool dates, <laughs> and they're really sweet ah. and sticky and delicious. Again, yeah, really high fantastic. calorie when I'm, when I'm doing it at Bog. But I also want to get some fresh fruits in. I've not had any berries all day, so I've got some blueberries, some strawberries, and some grapes as well. Why? Get those colours in. The colours are the antioxidants. Anyway, get out of here. I'm going to munch this lot down. All right. That is enough. Very telling. In the whole day, he consumed around about 600, 700 grams of carbohydrates without the protein shake. That probably was a massive protein shake. He consumed maybe 50 to 60 grams of plant protein, absorbed maybe 20 grams from that, therefore again relying on the plant protein and the steroids. Absolutely disingenuous. As I said many times before, this is not a personal attack. This is a disclaimer to his viewers. If you follow what he does, you're going down a dangerous path. This man has to rely on synthetic chemicals to keep himself alive. It is absolutely disgusting what he does. He's promoting malnutrition. He's promoting human suffering. He is suffering himself, but he does not see it. He is a blind leading the blind. All right, guys, but this is it for today's video. If you liked it, leave a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed already, please do so. If you want to support the channel, all the links are in the description box below. You can go through our Amazon portal and support Bobby's Perspective that way. It doesn't cost you anything extra. You can buy whatever you might want to buy and we get a small percentage. If you want grass-fed beef delivered to your doorstep, Butcher Box is for you. We have a discount code in the description box as well. If you're battling any type of disease, hey, give CBD a shot, try it out. It helped me tremendously. We have discount codes as well in the description box for you. If you want to join the inner circle of Bobby's Perspective, Subscribestar or Patreon is for you. Both pages offer equal perks for you. Comprehensive nutrition guides, 24-7 access to the community and me and weekly Skype group calls. All right, guys, but this video is long enough as always. Much love and peace.